All right, YouTube, we're going to play some Drakes today. I think this is probably 74-ish out of the 75-ish that I'm going to play. I'm debating <clears throat> cutting this negate for a third Niv because I think this deck is starting to become more popular. And people might, but Niv is also very good against like the Esper um, mid-range deck. And uh, it's good against the control decks, which might start to pop up if they can figure out a way to kind of handle the black-green deck. But I think for now, this is pretty close to what I'm starting to do. I'm going to do here. So it's Brad Carpenter's deck from um, the last SCG with just, you know, one card. They cut the star. The star extension seemed pretty poor to me because normally you want that against black green, but because of how the matchups changed, you oftentimes need, like, because Krasis, uh, Krasis is now involved, it will uh, pull you ahead on cards and on the battlefield. So wiping the battlefield only buys you time if you don't have pressure backed up with it. Like you need to play a Drake and then kill them quickly and it might not just be enough time. So I don't really like Star. I just want to try one of these. So, so we're going to play. Standard. Oh, look at this thing over here. Just know that on this stream, we will be enjoying a Founders All Day IPA. I am not sponsored by Founders. I don't need to be sponsored by Founders. But if you could send me a freaking t shirt, that would be great. That's what I'm looking for. I want a Founders t shirt. I tweet at those guys all the time. Oh, I want the t-shirt. All right. All right, looks like we won the die roll. We've already done one thing right in this game. <clears throat> this hand is kind of mopey, but I'm going to keep it because we're going to play. This is a hand that can get run over by, like, a mono red deck or a, uh, or a, um, like a mono red deck or a mono white deck. But <clears throat> hopefully Charter Course can fix our draws a little bit. Looks like we're playing against a slower matchup, so we're not going to get punished that bad. So we have all the necessary lands and spells to get to our crackling drake or lands to get to our crackling drake which is good and now we can just ditch this mountain we're gonna have to be a little conservative with our charter course probably if we are playing against control making sure we like raid this is really nice which looks like what we're doing a terramander would be nice here so we're gonna discovery dispersal before we are discovery before we do anything wow Uh, put this on the bottom. Um, I think I'm going to put this on top. I, just, I don't know when I'm going to be able to cast it. <clears throat> but it's just a cheap way to pump my drakes and start to level up uh, Terramander. I should have uh, done this in the opposite order because if this gets syncopated, I'm going to feel stupid. But I would doubt they would burn a syncopate on a Terramander. Moment of craving makes a lot more sense. Oh, cast down. All right, well, if we're going to get a cast down on a Terramander, that's nice. This is a little bit of a tough matchup game one because we don't have a lot of counter spells in the main deck. Like we just have to jam all the way up the curve, basically. And they're gonna counter this. <clears throat> then we're gonna jam into them again, but especially on four. The nice thing about like, in this matchup is, like, Teferi tucking a Crackling Drake, you know, isn't, isn't necessarily a real winning... Oh, uh, that's a nice draw. Isn't a real winning thing for our opponent. All right, we're going to get a card out of this. I will Spell Pierce, like, a counter spell here. Okay. I'll Spell Pierce a way to kill this Drake, I mean. Because, like... Being able to spell Pierce the Teferi would be ideal, but 
Looks like we're going to be able to do that here, which will be great. Get out of my face. They're playing around dive down, probably. So we're going to uh, attack and then chart because the size of our Drake isn't necessarily what matters. The quantity of removal or the quantity of threats is what we need, or we also just need like ways to interact. We don't have a lot of ways to interact with this deck. All right, Terran Bender's nice. Again, I don't really want to run into a Kai's Wrath. I guess I could have done some main phase opting in order to get in a little more damage. I probably should have done, like, at least opted once. I'll do one more time. This means we're going to be able to level the Terramander up. One, two, we don't want this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not quite. We're, we're walking into a bit of a wrath here, but like, such is life. This plays around Teferi better. Plays around Teferi and like, or like a, a Brass's Contempt better, but it does not play that well. It doesn't play well against Wrath. Which, I mean, it's tough to beat Wrath game one here. <clears throat> I'm not gonna tap my mana. We're gonna. I think they're respecting uh, die down, so I'll just untap. Let's cast this. Put on the bottom. Show me a die down. Right, let's see if I get to attack. All right, that's nice. So this means we're gonna be able to at least get in with charter cores. And now if they kill this, I don't really matter. I don't really care. I could have leveled up my Terramander there, but I didn't really know. I should have thought about that more because, like, I'm doing. Okay, they're going to contempt. All right, we're going to let that happen. <clears throat> we're definitely going to level up Terramander any, before doing anything next turn. That was a mistake on my part. I should have at least thought about it. Thought Erasure, you got it. Yeah. Let this go. They're probably going to take my threat. And then we're going to be in trouble. Because they, they likely have another removal as well. They could have card draw. Okay, so have, all right. Yield to this turn. We need a Crackling Drake. So our opponent's on empty. Terramander's not bad. I'm just going to level it up right now to not mess around with a... Uh, my opponent knows what we have. We get that F6 value. That was a good hit for us. That's why the deck's better than it used to be because you, you play 12 threats now. Uh, you'll do this turn. Then we're just going to F2. We might want to shock it. Like They might go Teferi uh, down. We'll shock the Teferi. Card draw is not good. For us, at least. It looks like they have card draw. Okay. All right, it's a good hit. So our opponent could be at four less life right now. So we'll see if that matters throughout the game. <clears throat> it likely will because we're just kind of hanging out, like just barely hanging on here. <clears throat> It's kind of a rough game one, but it certainly gets a lot better after side. But when we get Nibs and Ralves, hit Thought Erasure. Okay. Thought Erasure is also very good against this deck. Excuse me. Some hiccups. Nothing. Okay. All right. Well, we are bricking as well. So our opponent would be at ten if we'd have leveled up our Terramander, which means if this if this connects, 
next turn it's lethal. So we could have just pissed away uh, a turn on the clock. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to hold these lands for charter course. But we're likely in trouble now. They counter this, that's aggressive. Yeah, we're 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 just we're super dead. We are super dead. We just, you know, drew three blanks. I, I could have kept playing there, but I would like to get the gains in. So we want these. And we're cutting lava coil. We're cutting shock. You know, it's been a while since I hit you up on Facebook. Ah, uh, uh, Lexinator. I I don't know. I don't know necessarily what you're referencing, but it, it definitely could be. I'm gonna take out uh, the Beacon Bull hits Lyra, so I think I'm gonna leave that in and just cut one of these. Like the Enigma Drake's our worst threat. I would like to play first. We're going to keep this hand. It's really threat uh, threat dense. We need to hit a land, but it's the kind of hand we want. And we have an op to help sculpt this here. Well, he's definitely greedy, but it's what we're going to do here. Why the high return of four color shadow and tie down again yourself and your sense of most people Well that's what the four color shadow was like decent until Grixis that shadow won a Grand Prix. And then the deck was like no way now. That's like the nut right there. So our hand is so good here that I'm just going to uh, <coughs> scry in my upkeep and I'm, I'm okay with taking a turn off. The four color has the better spirit. It doesn't have a better spirits matchup. It doesn't have a better. I don't think it has a better dredge matchup either. Like the four color deck was just really good for a little while because of the linear decks, and then it just died out because like Fatal Push came back into the format, and Fatal Push is actually very good in the format right now. Nice. So we're gonna take a natural draw step next turn. <clears throat> All right. I mean, they can thought erasure me all they want once this flips. So now we're going to scry. Well, we're actually just going to take another draw step because if we can land a crackling drake, it's a really good threat. And we did. It's just a two for one. <clears throat> They're going to have to tap out to handle. All right, land's not great. Yeah, there was there was just a section of uh, the metagame where there was a section of time in the metagame where Tarmogoyf was just exceptional. All right, you get a land to play. Yeah, so now we have to scry. Don't want that. Tilt. We could be in trouble. We have just jam to fairy here. They know two out of the three cards in my hand, and this is gonna flip. So they, they should like wow, they didn't have it. It's really good. The home team. So they they can't kill this. Well, I'll put that on top of my deck. We have the dive down. We have Splinter Twin assembled. <clears throat> my opponent's dead. At least I think they're gonna have Elders Reborn. Uh, 
All right, we shoot them. Let's draw a card. <clears throat> Make a little moto tweak out there. We like a spell. Nice, come on. Counter it. Give me a card. Man. <clears throat> kind of tough hits off of Niv. I'm going to play an island, even though I could get my tap land in play here. Because if we, like, get a draw chain off of niv Mizzet, then I would like as much mana in my hand as possible. Or, like, as much mana up, excuse me. I think of the right way to say it. All right, Spell Pierce is not great, but we get into some big old counters. I mean, it's just something I can cast. Like, worst comes to worst, this Spell Pierce taxes my opponent's mana and draws me a card. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast this now, even though it could give me more cards, because I, I want to attack with my Nip Visit, and I don't want to, like, cast this after a spell, like, and then get, like, oh, what do we got? Interesting they would cast this now. They have an absorb. That makes sense. Um, I could just cycle my spell pierce, but I don't, know, I don't really want to do that. Ping. All right, we probably can play this tap now. Now we can spell pierce. Oh, they, they can't even have... Uh, Whatever it is up, so settle the wreckage. Then we can like dive down any targeted removal. Okay. Yeah, and Nim Nim just slaps in these kind of matchups. It's kind of annoying how good it is sometimes, like playing it from the other side. It's like sometimes your opponent just plays Nim Visit and like you get punished for playing the game. Which kind of blows. So last season, everybody whined about Carnage Tyrant, but like this card is way more offensive than Carnage Tyrant. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm going to keep this. We have a pile of stuff to do. Cantrip, spin our wheels. We have our removal spell for a creature, though they might have. it might have been worth boarding this out. I probably should have like played in this land. This was stupid. I should have just played this because I could like, you know, make them think about it. The spell peers. All right, we're gonna do some discovery in this game for sure. Um, put it on the bottom. We're gonna draw enough lands throughout this game so we don't have to worry about any of that. <clears throat> we have to be worried about the Eldest Reborn, though. If the Eldest Reborn is a tough card to beat. All right, well, because we drew that spell, Pierce, we're going to... We're going to wait on jamming this threat because we have protection. If they want to counter this, I will likely spell Pierce back. I think this is going to be too slow. We'll put it in my graveyard. All right, we hit a land. And next turn, we might not even do anything. We, we might spell pierce a draw spell. Then, or we might just, like, play land pass. Okay, so they don't even have a draw spell up. So we can just, like, um, we can just discovery, play land, go. And then we can next turn play... Drake with Stroke and Pierce. Well, not and both. Stroke or Pierce. I think we're just going to keep sculpting. Like, they don't have a way to get ahead yet. I don't even want either of these. We're going to draw enough lands throughout this game anyways because of the nature of this deck that we don't need to top any of them. 
it's nice that they can't do it. Like they can't they we basically waste their mana here. Like they're they're uh screaming counterspell. And Terramander. Terramander's pretty good. It's likely gonna eat a counter spell. I think I, I think I fucked up. I was supposed to do this first. I was supposed to like I did this in a poor order. All right, we want both of these. Let's put. Well, we I don't think we want the spell pierce actually. Like I think this spell pierce is not going to be that good, but we might be able to combo it with some. No, I'm gonna put this on the bottom and I'm gonna put this on top. And I think we're just going to play this tapped. So if we play untapped, we can like maybe shake them off spell pierce. We did just put a spell pierce in the graveyard. So they might not buy it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. This doesn't, yeah, it's kind of disguises it because. Yep, you got it. Because um, we can just like level up our Terramander with two mana. This is where I'm definitely going to spell pierce something here if I get the chance to. I'm just going to use my mana here at the end of their turn. Like, if they want to kill this, they can kill this. Like, it, it, it makes them tap mana. Okay. So now we would like to hit a land. Because we hit a land, we can go Enigma Drake plus double counter spell. All right, that's still pretty good. The hard part here is it's really difficult to fight over Teferi. The Spell Pierce is nice, but we actually want to hit land drops now. Tilt. We're just going to pass again because we want to be able to go like counter spell plus Spell Pierce. Because they're likely going to go to Fairy plus Negate this turn. Yeah, so here's this play pattern. I'm going to Disdainful Stroke this. They go Negate. We Pierce. And now we Jam Rao. Because we made them tap mana first. And we want to just pick, at this point, we want to pick up some lands off of our Rao. <clears throat> Dive Down is really good as well. Dive Down is only really good with Niv. So I think we're just going to take the land. And we're going to shock ourselves in here. And again, we could get Teferi, the Eldest Reborn. God, that card just browns me. I keep forgetting about that card. Did not play around that. All right, and they're going to shock in. I have to be cognizant of that. One, two, three. We put this on top so we can have two counter spells. We didn't want that land, but we can loot it away. We're going to negate here. We'll ditch this land off of this.
So it's Kaya's Wrath. Do you have another counter spell to back your Kaya's Wrath up? They probably do. They haven't used that many. We got a removal spell here. We have a removal spell or card draw. Okay. So here's where we get beat if we miss. And this appears that we are going to. Um, let's pitch this because we might want to cast Discovery Dispersal. Alright, Terramin or something. The problem is they're just going to be able to target with Teferi. And we can find it quickly, but. Because they're going to bring their Teferi back. I would have to assume here. Maybe my Enigma Drake, but uh, it's just stupid with the Beacon Bolt in the graveyard. Yeah, see you in two days, Tim. I'm excited. All right. So now we're dead. And I always mess this up. I never play around this card. I have to remember that. Because I think we destroy our opponent if we don't if I if I remember to play around this. Alright, well let's make them. <clears throat> so this is gonna make them minus their Teferi. We could draw a cantrip and just get right back into it here. Okay. All right, we're starting to get a card out of this, so let's. It kind of sucks we drew a spell that we can cast there, but such is life. Like a one mana, uh, a one mana, whatever it is there. Like a cantrip there would have been sick because we could have put this Teferi down. We would have made it so they couldn't uh, do anything here. All right, let's. It's going to get us to our Niv next turn, but it's nothing much more than that. <clears throat> yeah, we don't get like whatever we need dive down like yesterday. And again, like I tossed this game because I didn't play around this. Like this card bodies me. I could have, I should have known that and then not done that. And then done it afterwards so I can fix this scribe. Just gonna keep this low. Make so I can't talk anything. They're gonna count. Uh, like we're we're pretty dead here. We'll we'll play for a couple more turns and then we'll call it. Negate. All right. Negate doesn't really do anything at the moment. It obviously will, but at least not right now. Surprised they're not like as counting. Don't need that. Oh, nope, we don't need that. Oh, God, come on, Moto. Don't do this to me. I should have led with the other one. This is a mistake. Yeah, this is stupid. I fucked. Oh, man. I just messed up. Well, I guess it didn't really. I mean, it didn't really end up mattering, but. At least the map's going to be able to do something for us. 
There's not a tad. They don't have a lot of blue sources, actually. Syncopate. I think if they syncopate this, I just have to let it go. Because like, I, I can't just pop my treasures. Yeah. Because I pop my treasures, then, like, I need to find some threats here. I need as many draws as possible. Again, I just have to play around the Eldest Reborn. Like, I, I just, I gotta, like, gotta do that. I never do that. I lose more cards to that than anything else. I right, Niv. I'm gonna do this first, because if we find him, is it, then... This does a lot more work. And Niv, Niv's... All right. Are they going to counterspell this? Or they're, they're the gate. It's a different art gate. So it's worth, worth noting. <clears throat> so we have one more dive down in the deck. One, yeah. Something. This is going to get negated. It's not. Jeez. Maybe I'm supposed to hold that for an admit, but I don't know. Absorb. Oh man, I'm so frustrated with myself because of this card. I just tossed it. As soon as I landed, I was like, yep. Yeah. Because you know they have plenty of Teferis left in their hand. Like their hand might be glutted up with Teferi, which is like, you know, not great at the moment. Alright. Alright. I yield. I yield. And again, I toss that. It's frustrating. I just always, I always forget to deal with that. Right? I always get browned by the Elvis Reborn. Yeah, I'm excited to see you, Tim. I think I know what you you're playing with Dalloway, right, Tim? Yeah, because we had we had everything we needed that game. We had all the tools, and I just I threw it, which is frustrating. Very frustrating. But I mean, at least it was one of those games where you can like point to it and be like, "This is where I messed up." You know, like and that's something that I do like about this deck because there are so many decisions. It feels like I lose less to just like, oh, well, you know, here are the cards that came off the top of my deck. <clears throat> like, it's my fault, you know? And I would rather have it be my fault than that. Because then there's something I can, I, I can learn from. Alright. Playing against Will Pulliam. I got a mulligan in this hand because we don't have a cantrip to like a one lander. Alright. 
All right. Um, I'm going to keep this one. It's kind of awkward that I have to play a tap land on two, on one to get this. Like the, the one drop Terramander sucks. Or the not being able to play the Terramander on one sucks. So. <clears throat> The next turn we will. I think I just want to get this down. I mean, it might be better to get the Drake down. It probably is to go Discovery into. All right. Well, we can get the best of both worlds, I guess. For what it's worth, I think Will's deck is busted. I think once once they find the proper build of this Gates deck, I think the Gates deck is nuts because it it, it plays Magic on a. On a uh, axis, what's going on? Oh, mother freaking out! It plays access magic on an axis that like is very unintuitive. Yes, this was a very easy one to figure out, Tim. It's literally Will Pulliam. It looks like we're back. All right. Um, now we're going to Discovery. It's going to grow Drake. Um, is this better than a random draw spell? Because if he goes red source in the gate, I don't think it is. He just doesn't have that much targeted removal. It's just a spell, which is nice, but I think we need more. We need, like, spell pierce. If he plays Wilderness Reclamation, like I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble here. Yep. I keep looking. Um, I'm going to put this on top. I'm just going to draw this because it's like something. I've got four spells in there. I'm just going to shock him. It's effectively a lightning bolt because of this Enigma Drake. Every gate you can lose. He doesn't, still doesn't have a red spell up. He could just nexus me, but like such is life. Another wilderness. All right, here, I'm just going to tell Will, like, I don't have anything. So, like, when Will's got it set up, like, just tell me here. Hey, how's it going, Andrew? Yeah, you're half in the divorce. How's it going, Front Twitch? He only has three cards. Untaps. Did you play Mono Red Burn deck yet? No, that's going to be later. Logging on to Arena. Arena's gas. So he's not really doing a lot. So he's got two turns stacked up. But he doesn't have any, like, he's nothing going on. He's no way to draw cards. If he doesn't have any way to draw cards, he could still lose. 
Okay, Guild Summit is going to be a beating because he just draws five here. You want to play Memekin? Deck looks cool. For sure. All right, Will, am I dead? Hey, Ben, how you doing? Is that Gold Pro Ben Jones? It is. That is Gold Pro Benjamin Jones. Triple Wilderness, okay. Man, this is everything that's right about the world. Double ramping while having a guild summit in play. about to all right he's gonna expansion expose me so we're, we're gonna let this happen oh uh, these gate decks make me feel so bad they look unplayable when i'm playing them yeah i think that this deck this gate deck here will be the best deck in standard once it's figured out. Because it, it attacks on an axis that is so weird. You know, like, the fact that it, it's it's lands. Like, lands are killing you. Got me. Dead as a doorknob. Okay, so we do we do get better, but the problem here is that I keep getting destroyed. Like I'm gonna sideboard in Ral because I keep getting wrecked by the whatever it is. Um the gate the gate guy. And it's it's tough to kill that. expansion being very situational yeah yeah but like expansion uh, like expansion on its own is a, still a good magic card you know i mean i'm tempted to bring in entrancing melodies because of how this these matches play out where because like being able to kill being able to steal the uh, whatever it is is important. This kills the guy. I don't need dive downs. I could just cut all my dive downs and play treasure map as well. It's tough sideboarding against this deck. And, like treasure map is kind of slow, but it allows me like leave up interaction and make mana, so I can do interaction and eventually have me able to go like. Um, threat plus multiple uh, disruptive spells. I think I'm going to try it. I think it's better than Dive Down. Okay, I would like to play first. Uh, this hand's pretty good. It's a little slow, but we're going to keep it. Like, we're going to be able to have Negate up unless Will gets a Growth Spiral draw. We're definitely charting a course in here, and we're going to try to pitch something 
to make our drakes larger. Or just another, we might end up just ditching another drake. Um, yeah, we're probably just ditching this crackling drake, honestly. Which kind of sucks. <clears throat> okay, so he's going to grow spiral here. Him growth spiraling likely means that... So, like, here's the problem. I can hold it negate the rest of the game and just get beaten, my face beaten off by the uh, whatever it is. And maybe I'm just supposed to hold negate. The problem is I can't hold negate and put pressure on him. So I'm just going to play this out. If he lands... If he lands Reclamation, then he lands Reclamation. Because I, I could go looking for a Spell Pierce, but I only have like two here. And it's like if he's got it, he's got it. But I think this Gate deck is actually good against this Drake deck. Because th this guy's also very good. Because it's just huge. All right, so now we have to, our number one mission is to get this Ral going, but make it so the Ral can kill this. So I think we actually put this into the graveyard, put this into the graveyard. Ooh, there's the melody. Put in your graveyard. I'm going to put this on top, and I'm just going to try to steal it. Like, it's only a 2-2 two -two under... I'm just going to try this. I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to try and steal it next turn. I might actually... I'm probably going to play... Uh, depends on what I draw. Cause I, like, if I can afford to hold up Negate, I'm going to. But there's a chance that I'm not going to be able to, like, afford to do that. Okay. Yeah, so now I, I have to take one of these. I have to put some pressure off of myself. Get in there. And we have enough spells where we might be able to... I'm just gonna block. I'm just gonna save myself the life points. The Crassus probably. Okay, Hydro Crassus for three. Let's play this, draw a card. I can at least threaten the double block. The problem is we'll just block. So if I attack, shock myself to seven, then I'm just dead on the crack back. I think what I have to do is like go shock, have negate, pass, look to double block this ram, and then like go ral down on this. And if he doesn't attack, then I just go ral down on this with negate back up and kill him. I don't take any damage here.
I guess, no, that was stupid. It sucks I hit a land, though. Don't have another one. Don't have another one. Don't have another one. It's just a Crassus. This matchup seems awful. Maybe I'm supposed... I fucked up. I think I'm supposed to, like... Maybe I'm supposed to just block with one. Oh, I can beacon bolt my way out of this. But he just drew a million cards. I guess I've kind of got to do that and hope that and just hope Will runs out of gas. I don't know. This 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 like oh this doesn't feel this just doesn't feel good. This matchup here. Into Will, no, Wayward's Hard Tooth. Okay, I can deal with that. All right, well, kill this, play Terramander. Go, like, we're, we're, we're scrapping. This is like the best I can do. At this point, I can't beat like Nexus at all. But I think maybe he just sideboards out all of his Nexuses. All right, well, that's a problem. Because that thing's massive and his trample. So is that thing. All right, Will's got it here because he just attacks me with this and I can't beat it. I think that this deck is really good. This deck, this Gates deck. And like, it, it just sideboards into such a, a robust way. Like, like my negates. And like, maybe I wasn't supposed to shock. I, I, maybe I'm just not even supposed to bring in negate and just keep some shocks and just try to like kill them quickly, have enough removal. Like, just bring in these and like disdainful stroke treasure map because like, i need all my threats like cut dive down like spell pierce is still good because it hits uh whatever it is but that does that deck is tough to play against All right, we're in here for the next one. All right, good game. All right, we'll keep this. We have a counter spell, removal spell, and two threats. This is just kind of what we're looking for. All right, breeding pool. I'm going to shock myself on one here. Because, like, if we get this, like, if we're playing against a fog deck and we get to spell pierce something here, which is nuts. We're not. We're playing against Bug. Okay. <clears throat> Fine finality. I think because we have another one, I'm just going to hit this. It kind of feels bad, but like using a Lava Coil. We have a second one. Like we're probably going to be using our mana the whole way up. We get punished by Hadan's climb here. All right. Well, that thing's dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna play this because sometimes I play Little Vraska. I'm gonna play off. I'm gonna play off curve to play around Vivian. Or, yeah, and this is this isn't that bad because we have to go just like a nice. Oh, we don't have another shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we gotta play off curve again. 
I miscounted my lava coils, but it's still okay. We just like can't beat Vivian here. If it resolves. The tough part is they're going to be able to play Vivian through Spell Pierce next turn, so we need to hit like dive down here. We're just going to jam a Krasis. Which, like, they've got me in the pickle here, because, like, they probably have Vivian, but they just don't really have to play into it. Draw a card. All right, Enigma Drake's nice. That, okay. All right, got it. All right. Probably going to ditch a spell pierce at this point. Yeah, for sure. Get in here. We have to start attacking. Like, we have to press the advantage. Spell pierce doesn't even really do anything at this point. Like, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So we're just going to play another Crackling Drake. And like maybe we can set something up where we can race. Because if we hit a land, we actually play double Enigma Drake next turn. So like we serve for eight, they serve for eight. I wonder if I have to block. I probably have to block. I'm gonna I'm gonna look to trade this turn. Yeah, this is just like too much damage to take. So let's get rid of this. I can play two threats next turn and continue attacking. They can just contempt this and they still get through the damage. Which I should have seen that coming here. That's actually, yeah, that's bad. Oh, they're just adapting here. I'm stupid. I'm not playing very well tonight, which is kind of frustrating. We're just getting kind of beat up. So we can just bounce this. One, two, three. But then we're still dead on board. I'm just going to draw another card. We need to tempo them out quite a bit. Maybe I have to. I can't even do it because I don't have black mana. All right, let's just play two threats. Hope they can't kill one of them. Then pass. It's been a rough night for the home team. Again, any removal spell here kills us. Including finality. So they got it. They got it. Ugh. We just drew, we had a spell pierce draw and we couldn't capitalize on it. So we want the strokes. That's likely it. I don't think the shift and fires are likely an improvement as well. The shocks aren't good. Um, I don't think the spell pierces. Hey, Ray, how you doing? I actually don't think the spell pierces are that great because they just have a creature draw and they just beat over the top of us. Someone said that we could bring in Melody in this matchup, and I'm going to try it because it just steals Crassus. I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm going to give it a whirl. This hits bigger things, so I'm going to take the Shivan Fire.
Okay, let's go here. <coughs> Alright, this hand's pretty solid. Like, we're, we want to go hard here. Well, I mean, both the lists are very good against Esper. Um, I think the problem with Phoenix... Well, so I played some Phoenix earlier, earlier in the week, and you have to play, like, really poor... Uh, you either have to play Goblin Electromancer, which isn't a really good card, or you have to play, like, the really poor Red Cantrips. So I just didn't like either of the versions, to tell you the truth. Uh, yield until next step. All right, we have to kill that. Put this in the bottom. <laughs> Something good. If they play another mana creature here, they can Vivian us, us on three, which isn't good. All right, I mean, Rao's a good one, but it's not really what we're looking for at the moment. I'll put both of these in my graveyard. We're looking for land. It's going to pump Drake. There's another Drake. So we have two threats now. They go mana creature here. I Okay, so it's just J-Light Ranger. So that's okay. Yeah, the overall card quality does drop a lot for a very a very good engine. Like Plus the Arc Light Phoenixes can just like I don't know. I think like I feel like a three power creature in the air gets brick walled quite a bit. I'm definitely not blocking this. So the nice thing about this hand is we have two answers to Vivian, which likely means that our Ral is leaving. But they can't really punch through it all here. I might actually just... I think I'm just going to jam my Crackling Drake. Because I have two threats. So even if Vivian comes down, I just I see another... Or it depends on what my opponent takes. It depends on if I draw a Cantrip. If I can go like Cantrip... Okay, so they took a stroke. All right, there's Druid. Huh. So I could actually just take this Lanowar Elf, which is, but I can't hold up Dive Down. How you doing, Rob? I could take this Incubation Druid. But then I kind of get browned by um, Vivian. Honestly, I think I'm just going to play this. If my opponent plays... The problem is they play fine finality next turn. Then I'm going to feel stupid. One, two, three, four, five, six. The problem is this play gets, if I take this with this, it gets destroyed by Vivian. If I play Crackling Drake, then it also gets destroyed. It gets destroyed by Fine Finality. If I just hold up Dive Down, then I don't use my mana, which feels bad. And it's not like I'm even winning a race. Oh, this sucks. Stealing Llanowar Elf. Stealing the mana creatures doesn't really do a lot. If I had triple blue, I would just steal this Llanowar Elf, hold dive down, and attack. If I take Llanowar Elf, then there's a chance that if my opponent doesn't have a land, that I can play Ral, nug this, and then it can, we can kind of have a Planeswalker off. But if they hit another land, then they can go Incubation Druid and attack and kill it. Oh, this sucks. 
I think I'm going to attack and play Crackling Drake. Because we have enough instants or sorceries in the graveyard to still kill this after a find. So even if they find a way they're bored right here, yeah, and we hit the land. So if they like they find they find out me this becomes five power, then I go Ral Nugget, and we're at an open board with them with four lands. And we still have an entrancing melody. And we have triple blue now, so we can do something like steal, steal like this, this incubation druid, and have dive down up. Which my my opponent doesn't. If my opponent just passes to level this up, I'm definitely stealing this. Okay. They took Rao. If they miss a land drop here, I'm taking this in a heartbeat. Yeah. Now, now I'm just going to lava coil it. Yeah, they just scoop it up. Okay. All right, we're going to keep it the same way. I'm going to grab myself another refreshing beverage. I'll be right back. How are you tonight, Rob? Okay, well, we can kill a mana dork. We have a cantrip. We have a lot of them. This is a really good hand. Show me that incubation druid. I'm going to kill anything here just to use my mana and have another spell because I want a cantrip next turn. Deal. I don't know what it is. I don't think Duress is very good against this deck. Because I think that what matters are the creatures. And a lot of the times when the creatures hit, you're either trading at like such a low mana trade, like with, with Terramander, or Crackling Drake draws you a card. Yeah, it's like I have so many cards, like so many cards in my deck that just do that. Alright, so you're gonna take take a little bit. But then now it's like I don't know. I don't know, maybe it's better than like some of the cards they have, but it's it's never the I've never wild like I think Thought Erasure is pretty good because it can hit Drakes. But I've never been that impressed with the rest. Alright, so on the stack. We're gonna hit this. Oh, I tapped two mana. Alright. Duress. Golden Secretary. So we hit the land. We're going to really hope there's no Ravenous Chupacabra. And we can kind of make this play because I think that these decks are moving away from Ravenous Chupacabra to help fight the mirror. Because, like, Hostage Taker is just better. Yeah. Sweet. So now we hit a land drop, which is nice. And I'm just going to opt before damage. Just to get another point. Yeah, unfortunately we have to let this go. But I'm going to do it right now just to 
make them think about it. We put this in the bottom. Okay. So we can't we can't fight now because if my opponent goes land Vivian, we just like lose. And we know they're on nothing but spells. Again, we can't we can't play this Drake because we need to hit land drops. <clears throat> I want to put this Rowl on top because it's just, it's going to be so good if we hit a land drop. And like our opponent's on nothing but spells. So we want to find a way to get ahead. So what do we think they had? Do we think they have like fines or they have removal spells? They use the cast down. So I think we're going to, now it's just, I, why would I do this? If my, if my opponent jams a Carnage Tyrant, I'm just like super dead. So I think we're just going to like hide behind this dive down. And like this is the line we took. So like Vivian me. If they Vivian me, we just have to hope we draw a land here. Looks like we're getting Vivian. Yeah. Land. And we're dead. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. And maybe I'm just supposed to pass. I'm probably just supposed to pass. I'm going to counter this just to keep the body off. Because I want I want to play Ral on an open board. Like I think I'm gonna win this game with Ral. So alright. Um I kinda of just want to take the land. I already have so many removal spells. Like, we, there's a chance we can do more with it. Like, if we keep hitting our land drops, we can hit, like, spell into, like, protection. The nice thing here is that Vivian doesn't find ways to kill this. That's gross. They have a find on top, so there's just no need of getting this Drake. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a counter spell. Crackling Drake's pretty good. I'm just going to keep it because... Um, all right, we probably just ditched this Ral. I want to find a way to protect my Drake. So I think we're on the line. We're just ulting Ral. Do you have a good tempt? Wow, that's such an odd time to do that. Why would they do it then? It's just because like I tapped out. Well, now I feel stupid. Man, we just got, we had smacked in this league. There is no other way about it. We need to dive down. Uh, Terramander is, I guess, okay. Like, we got slapped. There's no other way to, like, there's just no better way to put it.
Uh, it's probably, I, I, I guess I just need to, I need to break my bat to play around this. Because I don't think that their deck's going to, I I feel like they really struggle to beat, to win this matchup without Vivian. Because Vivian plays offense, or play, Vivian plays defense, and plays offense. Yep, we're going to take this shot. You know, one of their cards is fine. There's Jam and other crasses. Jeez. I don't understand why you wouldn't do it for the full one. So you have two things that beat up on. Let's see if dive down. They play dive down, maybe. They're gonna land removal spell. All right, I yield. I yield. You got me. Whew. We got worked in that league. Let me go. Let me see. So I think I'm gonna play some burn against my teammate. Here in a bit. So let me just see what their schedule is. Um, they're eight to nine thirty. All right, we're gonna keep playing here. Finish the league out. But I think I think we just got beat by the gates deck. I think the gates deck just beat us. Um I think that uh the gates deck just beat us. I think I made mistakes in game two against the Krasis deck, and then I made mistakes against Esper. So it's not all my fault. Or no, it is all my fault, which is the, the nice part about this deck. There's so many decisions to make that if I make the right ones, if I'm on my game, then I can maximize the deck, which is what I like. It's the same thing with Death Shadow. Like I like I like decks that take the variance out of the game. All right. All right. Uh, this hand's pretty solid. We have the combo right here. tapped. All right. All right. Lots of removal. So they have a creature draw, which is likely we're playing against. An incubation druid here would be nice. Oh, wow. We're playing against a Nexus deck? This has to be what we're doing here. Yeah, we're playing against a Nexus deck, like a blue green Nexus of Fate deck. All right, well, if that's the case. Into your graveyard, 
put it on top. We could shock them, but I don't really don't want them to get this killed. Like I don't want them to show like another color and then just go like black land cast down. And then I just go like shock you. That would just feel bad. Oh, this probably means they don't have another land drop. Like I don't think you can just play this into the face of the deck to play spell pierce. All right, guess they had it. I guess they had it. So we're playing in some sort of like bug control deck. No, it's definitely a next fate deck. All right, well that's a good draw. So now we're not going to shock our opponent. We're not going to like play this Drake because we can spell here something on this turn. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So spell pierce isn't getting any better. So I think I'm just going to tap them out and shock them twice. Because, like, I can no longer stop a whatever it is, a Wilderness Reclamation after this. And at least I can kind of, like, time walk them a little bit. So, yield until next time step. You got it. And now we're just going to send some burn off. Shock, shock. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm actually just going to do this because like they don't play targeted removal. A land here wouldn't be that bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm just going to play Crackling Drake. And now we're just on like the Hope Train. I did that to like make my the leveling it up cheaper. Okay, Wilderness. I was going to scoop it up to a Nexus here. Like, well, I mean, I guess, I guess they're technically dead on board. The chemistry's inside, okay. Two, three, four, five, six. Inside again. All right, I mean, they need a fog or they're dead on board. Spell Pierce? Uh, I'll keep it. Okay. All right, play this. Yep, still playing standard. We're getting worked in this league. I really like this deck, but I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Dispersal. Okay. I will discard a Lava Coil. I'm going to play the burn list from the SCG, the one that Ryan Ferris... Uh, Top eight at the classic with. Yeah, I'm gonna concede. I'm gonna concede to like wilderness reclamation plus search for his can't have. Oh, okay. I'm still probably gonna concede to it. Like maybe we hit a spell pierce off of this to like do just enough. Yeah, I'll probably doing some Mono Blue Delver or something cool as well. Terramander's really nice. I think there's like a Terramander deck in Modern. Um, I think you can play like a Blue Red Delver deck with it. You gotta play like, you probably play Thought Scour, Faithless Looting. I mean, it's probably just like a, a, a weird Arcwake Phoenix deck. All right. 
But my opponent doesn't have a lot going on. Like if they have Nexus of Fate, like then I'm super dead. But they, they get a like if they find a Nexus here, then I'm gonna scoop. But Chemistry's inside, okay. All right, I'm just gonna scoop to the Nexus. Yep, you got it. You got it, opponent. Okay. So against Nexus, I want this and this. I kind of like Melody because it hits uh, Crassus. And I kind of like Treasure Map because it just holds up interaction. I honestly like just cutting all of the removal spells. It's going like this. Like Melody steals something, which is really nice. Dive Down is also not very good. I'm gonna bring in one more. I'm just gonna bring the bolt in because, like, if we can interact with them long enough and land a row, I won games against Nexus where, like, that's that's how we won the game. Yeah, I think Team Redeveler and UR Devil really want to have Delver copies. Well, so like Terramander is better than Delver. Like, I think you want to play in Terramander in like a Rug Delver deck with. Like, ways to make Tarmogoyf big in Stubborn Denial. It's like a weird Death Shadow deck, if that makes sense. <clears throat> yeah, I can't keep this hand. If we're on the play in a Dispersal with a Terramander is where we want to be, but, like, we just have too many lands. This hand is so Moby, but I'm going to keep it. At least they mulligan as well. Um, that's just a threat that we can play earlier. Like, we can't say no to spells at this point. I'm going to show weakness. Play that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play burn with my friend here. I'm going to play against my friend here in a little bit. Maybe if there's downtime, I will... Uh, God, that's such a good card for right now. If there's downtime, then I will like brew up a Terraman or Modern deck. I haven't played modern since the band now. Do it on the Seems hard to put. I think it's better than Delver. Yeah, it's just huge. All right, so now we have to hold up. They don't have a land. Oh wow, they didn't put a land into play. Yes. Which means we know that they have it, so we can't. We're just gonna put this on top because it cycles. Um, put this on the bottom. All right. Ah, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, and no, it's just bigger. Like you have to play faithless looting, and um, you'll have to play looting, and uh, whatever it is. All right, so that's a chemist's insight. All right, so you can insight whatever. I'm just gonna like continue to grow this. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. The sustainable stroke is going to give me some. So we're just looking for interaction at this point. And I don't think Rattle is it. A cheap card here would be great. Not a land. Yeah, you have to play like. I don't know. Maybe I'll brew it up here, just for fun. Like, while we're waiting. That's a nice draw. Now I don't want to tap out for this Drake. Assassin's Trophy. Okay, so now we can actually play the Drake and have... Uh, the necessary um because they ramped us we still have two counter spells here there's another drake 
This is getting close to flipping. So I can rock Shoal and Manamorphos. Yeah, yeah, Teddy. It was good. I was there for a little bit. I was lurking because I was playing. All right. Spell Pierce, your negate. Hope they don't have anything else. They either flip their search so they can just like hard cast. All right, well, let's. All right, I mean, this is the best we can do. It's like, you're dead next turn. Like, there's nothing to be sorry about, right? I mean, that's just like, you're learning. Extreming is difficult. I hope this is a Crassus. Okay, we can beat this. Like all we need is a spell and we beat this. Oh, what a tilt. I mean, that's still a pretty good spell. I'm just going to serve. My opponent gets to eat one of these, and then the second one's, the next one's lethal. And they're one. And I can, like, disdainful stroke a body. All right, that's bold. So what do you have? You have Nexus plus Negate. I mean, you have Negate, like, yeah. It's kind of in the feel-bad league. Like, we have just been getting worked. Yeah, it's something you can't you can't beat. You can't stream it like that. Like that's just a starting point. All right. I mean you have two cards. Like these two nexuses have just been explored. All right, that's a good start for us. So they can find Wilderness, untap a Nexus, but if they would Nexus, they would just do it there. Okay, whoops there. All right, so they're going to attack here. And then we will attack with... We're probably going to attack with Crackling Drake because they showed us um, Discovery and we don't want to get this bounce. We'd rather, like, if we attack with this, this gets bounced. This can still block. Oh, that is nuts. That is a sick draw. Because now their Root Snare kills them. I guess the Root Snare doesn't kill them, but the next Fog kills them. So now I don't want to do anything. I'm not going to attack because they've already fogged. Now it's like you put a spell on the stack. You're dead. If they can Hydroid crash this to the moon, but we have enough stuff to block here. The Niv was so nice. I mean, there's Nexus, but, like, that kills you. Okay. All right. We're just going to submit. There's an argument that, like, Shock's better than Ral, but the games get slower. All right, this is a really good hand. It's very good. We could get, like, Brown by a Growth Spiral. So maybe we can try to play around that a little bit. Like make them think at least. Though in standard you should you should just jam.
put this on the bottom. Um, oh gosh. Cards. Sorry, I'm I'm multitasking at the moment. Okay. Because I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Burn V Tron here in a second. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for spell pierce. So I might as well just pass. And then opt and response. So you flip arch. You have a lot of interaction here. So we're going to opt. They can growth spiral here, which is going to feel bad. Uh, we want this nib. We can't cast it, but as we saw, they're not going to be able to go off through nib visit. Oh, the second nib is no bueno. Again, I'm not going to take down the stainful stroke. Like, I just want to hit a whatever it is. A wilderness reclamation. All right. Again, I really like we haven't taken down disdainful stroke yet, so we might as well not start. Next turn we can play a threat and we have stroke up. I do like this deck. We are getting browned in this league. We're 0 3 in this league right now. Like, it's been a rough league. But I do like this deck. It's my kind of magic. Can you spell pierce me, bud? You gonna do that to me? I'm gonna feel stupid for not shocking. They have a pierce, too. What a tilt. Yeah, I didn't shock. All right, well, we're not beating anything, so let's just get this into play. They've already milled a trophy. So maybe they don't... I mean, if we just top deck a land, we play Nib. They can't go off through Nib. All right, I'm gonna attack first. I'm like, it's like you have to deal with this before you win the game. And we're gonna be able to go nets next turn, so. There is that. All right, they dealt with it. Well, maybe we'll get lucky here. Again, they only have two cards, so like... Double Pierce is nice. We're like just barely holding him there. Like next turn, three, eight, 
We could just kill if we didn't tap and they don't have we could just kill them. Oh wow. So like they're doing this before they move to their end step to float mana. This is wild. All right, well, you get a turn with no cards in hand. They get, like, a lot of... They're going to get a lot of looks at it. But, again, like, they have to go off. I cannot... If I get another turn, they're, they're, I think they're going to lose. All right. This is a Crassus for 42. Okay. I mean, we can deal with that. Like we're going to get wild next turn here. So I have to think of who I'm shooting. I probably have to shoot this Crassus. As long as they don't take another turn on me here. If they kill Niv, I'm in trouble. All right, shoot you. I think we're going to try to kill them with just Niv Mizzet. Because Niv deals three damage for everything we do here with Charter Course. Shoot you. Yeah, I think my opponent's dead. Oh, I have to get this from card order. This is live TV, ladies and gentlemen, so hang on. I'm getting the burn deck at the moment. And again, this is Ryan Ferris's deck from the uh, from his league. So, okay, they're activating his Kanta. Live TV, ladies and gentlemen. This goes here. Yeah, my opponent's dead. All right, so my opponent's dead here. So, because we're 03 in the league, I'm going to concede. Because I would just beacon bolt this after this resolves, or just kill them with Niv. And I just don't want to take the points away from them. So, all right. So, while we're waiting for my friend, let me shut this down. Stop the recording.